They're only about a half an inch to two inches long, and on their own, they may seem harmless, but together, they can pack quite the punch. It seemed like they were coming out of the sky. Spongy moths, formerly known as gypsy moths, have returned in large numbers this year, and some have settled in at David Kelso's Canterbury home. He says this is bad news because there's millions of them. Currently in their caterpillar state, these insects are hungry and have been feasting on scores of trees on Kelso's property. Once they get done with the uh, white oaks, they go after the red ones, and then they would after my blue spruce and the other spruces I have. And he's not alone. The New Hampshire Division of Forests and Lands has mapped thousands of acres of defoliation in central and northern New Hampshire, including 32,000 acres taken out in Carroll County. They're always kind of on the landscape, but there are, there are years that they'll just kind of explode, and this is one of those years. The caterpillars have a taste for red oak, which can be an issue for the timber industry. We have several very large uh, sawmills that process red oak and red oak gets used in everything from furniture to um, fine fixtures and molding in homes. And so if you have some trees on your property that are impacted by this, experts say if the tree is healthy enough, it should bounce back. Reporting in Bosco and I'm Tim Callery, WMUR News 9.